Good evening and welcome to live streaming worship here at Emmanuel Episcopal Church. My name is Father David Bumstead. I'm the rector. Great to be with you over the internet. Uh, if you've been following us over the last uh, few weeks, well, more than a few weeks, uh, you'll notice that uh, what's behind me is at a different angle, changing it up uh, as we look towards uh, the opportunity to reopen, uh, perhaps giving us a little bit more space uh, to, uh, to enjoy our uh, our, our own liturgical space here. Uh, program note, in just a few minutes, uh, we'll post uh, just a quick sh theology lesson in keeping with our uh, Fun with Heresy series. So that'll be uh, probably around 6, 6.30. In any case, let's go ahead and say our prayers. set forth in thy sight as the incense. Let the lifting of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. Psalm appointed for this evening is a portion of Psalm 119. Psalm 119, verses 121 through 144. Psalm 119, verses 121 through 144, beginning on page 773. I have done what is just and right. Do not deliver me to my oppressors. Be surety for your servant's good. Let not the proud oppress me. My eyes have failed from watching for your salvation and for your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your loving kindness and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Grant me understanding that I may know your decrees. It is time for you to act, O Lord, for they have broken your law. Truly, I love your commandments more than gold and precious stones. I hold all your commandments to be right for me. All paths of falsehood I abhor. Your decrees are wonderful. Therefore, I obey them with all my heart. When your word goes forth, it gives light. It gives understanding to the I open my mouth and pant. I long for your commandments. Turn to me in mercy, as you always do to those who love your name. Steady my footsteps in your word. Let no iniquity have dominion over me. Rescue me from those who oppress me, 
and I will keep your commandments. Let your countenance shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of tears, because people do not keep your law. You are righteous, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. You have issued your decrees with justice and in perfect faithfulness. My indignation has consumed me, because my enemies forget your words. Your word has been tested to the uttermost, and your servant holds it dear. I am small and of little account, yet I do not forget your commandments. Your justice is an everlasting justice, and your law is the truth. Trouble and distress have come upon me, yet your commandments are my delight. The righteousness of your decrees is everlasting. Grant me understanding that I may live. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all lowliness and meekness, with patience, forbearing one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you are called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all who is above all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it is said, when he ascended on high, he led, a, he led a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. In saying he ascended, what does it mean but that he had also descended into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is also he who ascended, far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And his gifts were that some should be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the cunning of men, by their craftiness and deceitful wiles. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way unto him who is the head, unto Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every joint with which it is supplied, when each part is working properly, makes bodily growth and upbuilds itself in love. Here endeth the reading. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the other side, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs met him, coming out of the tombs, so fierce that no one could pass that way. 
And behold, they cried out, What have you to do with us, O Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a herd of many swine was feeding at some distance from them. And the demons begged him, If you cast us out, send us away into that herd of swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and went into the swine, and behold, the whole herd rushed down a steep bank into the sea and perished in the waters. The herdsmen fled. And going into the city, they told everything and what had happened to the demoniacs. And behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus. When they saw him, they begged to leave him, leave their neighborhood. Here endeth the reading. Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us now thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. And do thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. O God, the King of glory, who hast exalted thine only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph unto thy kingdom in heaven, we beseech thee, leave us not comfortless, but send to us thine Holy Ghost to comfort us, and exalt us unto the same place whither our Savior Christ is gone before, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the same Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. God, who art the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank thee for thy timely blessings of this day, and humbly beseech thy merciful protection all the night. Bring us, we pray thee, in safety to the morning hours, through him who died for us and rose again, thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's say the third prayer for mission on page 70. O God, who dost manifest in thy servants the signs of thy presence, send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another thine abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, add your intercessions and thanksgiving, certainly to our prayers to Almighty God, but also perhaps in the comments below this.
thanks, O oh God, for this day. We pray that you would watch over all of those who are sick with coronavirus. We pray that you would restore them to health, give them your courage and hope. We pray for all of those who are charged with their care, doctors, nurses, medicine, medical professionals. Protect them, O oh Lord, and give them strength of will and wisdom in their charge. We pray for all of those returning to work and those who have served as essential workers. We pray, O oh God, for your wisdom as our communities reopen across this country and the world. We pray for all of those that have lost their jobs or had their livelihoods otherwise compromised. Help them, O oh Lord, to find the fulfillment of their work in you. We pray this day for all that have died, especially those that have died as a result of the coronavirus. May light perpetual shine upon them. Amen. Let's say the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, then unworthy servants, to give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to thee, and has promised to thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, I will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. All right, thanks again for joining me for evening prayer tonight. I hope you have a wonderful evening. See you later.